Hello everyone, today let's talk about the DWG export setup. So if we go to our file, export, get formats, DWG. Here you have the select export setup. And if you click on these three dots, you will go to the DWG export setup dialog. You can do the same if we go like file, export, and if we scroll down in here to options, export setup DWG. It is the same thing. So let's go and take a look first on the layer step in this modify export setup dialog. So first of all, what you can see here is load layers from standards. Here we have some American Institute of Architects and you can change this to be a different one. And you can see that it will change the definition of the layers in here. You can even create your own one, which will be like for your own company, which is basically just a text file. We'll go with this first predefined one. And what you can see in here are some model categories, some annotation categories, analytical model categories, imported categories, some modifiers, and here some others. So basically it is the same as inside of the Revit project based on these categories. And you can see that you can specify for every category different layer inside of the DWG which will be exported. So if we go now with our walls settings, you can see that we have some walls in here. And again, you can see the properties for the projection. So it will be used for the walls that are in projection and properties for the cat. So it will be used for the walls that are being cut. So in my example in here, I have all of my walls being cut. So it will be using the, we go back in here, it will be using this cut settings. So if we go to our walls, you can see that now for my walls, I have my layer name set to be a wall and this color ID is being 113. What this color ID means is that it will use the color ID from the AutoCAD application because inside of the AutoCAD file or AutoCAD like program, you have some colors which can be defined by the color ID, which is like from, I think from zero to 225. So it will use this color ID to get the color to this layer. We will Take a look on this inside of the DWG file. And here we have some layer modifiers, which we can add in here some different like parameters to get some extra information. And basically what this does is that it will add a prefix or a suffix to the name of the category. So it will be a wall something. But me personally, I have never used this, so I will not be talking about this in much detail. But at the end of this dialog, you can see settings for modifiers. And here you can see, for example, for the face created, what it will be like edit. For example, for the existing face or the new construction face, it will add a modifier named new construction. So you can change it in here. And now if we will go back to our walls, so we know that our walls, which are being cut, will be on the layer A wall and with the color ID 113. So now we have some options in here, which if we take a look on these are three options. If we go with the first one, export category properties by layer and overrides by entity. What this means is that it will export all of my walls to one layer, which will be this one layer, which we set up in here. So it will be the A wall layer and all of the overrides, which means graphical overrides, for example, colors like we have in here, this red wall will be on the same layer with this walls category. So it will be all at the A wall layer. So if we go now and export this, and if I will open this inside of the AutoCAD file, you can see if we go to our layers, 
that we have only two layers, which is zero and our A wall. And inside of this A wall layer, you can see this 113, which is this color ID, which we defined. So that is why it is like green in here. And if I will now take a look on this particular wall, you can see that it is red as inside of my Revit project. It is on the layer with all the other walls but the color is not being set like by layer as in here we have the color set by layer here you can see that the color is being set like directly inside of the element and it is being a red color because that is what we had in the override so this is the first setting from there then if we go back to our Revit file and export it again with this second one. Export all properties by layer, but do not export overrides. What this means is that it will export everything based on these settings, but the graphical overrides will not be exported. So if I will now do this like layer one, two, and open this, you can see that our graphic override for this wall was not exported and this wall is being now exported with the color by layer and the layer is a wall now back to our revit file the last settings from the layer step is the third one which is export all properties by layer and create new layers for overrides what this means is that it will create a separate layer for graphical override which we have inside of our Revit view. So if I will go with this to be one free and I open it inside of my DWG, you can see that it is now red, but if I go to my layer properties dialog, you can see that I have my AWOL layer and I have a separate layer for the graphical override, which is AWOL 1, which has this graphic override of color red. So basically, this is it. When it comes to DWG export setup, when we talk about these layers and Next, we will take a look on the lines.